Okay, okay. Dirty back. In this video, I'm gonna be talking all about the foam screen mistake we have for sale, Enzo Martial Arts. I'm gonna be talking about why you'd wanna buy one of these over the other screen mistakes we have for sale, what styles would use it, give you all the dimensions and weights, and at the end, I'm gonna to put together a short montage of people training with a screen mistake. Hi, my name's Doug Swift. I've been the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 16 years and trained in martial arts for the past 33 years. If you're liking this video, click the little icon in the bottom right hand corner of the video, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest updates from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the foam a scream stick we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. So as the name suggests, this is a foam a scream stick. So it's a padded a scream stick. It's a plastic core all the way through the middle with a foam covering on the outside. So relatively skinny plastic core with a foam padding. Now why would you want this? Well, if you've ever done any stick fighting, Filipino stick fighting, you'll know exactly why you want a foam padded stick. Rattan Screamer sticks hurt. They hurt a lot. Sparring with a padded one is much, much more kind on your arms, on your head, on your body. Much more sensible. Now the really hardcore streamer stick fighters will break these. They absolutely hammer them. I mean, they break the rattan of screamer sticks. It will stand up to a fair bit of punishment, but it will break eventually. It is not 100% indestructible. It is a much, much better option than not having it. The rattan of screamer sticks, which do again do break, will bring huge welks up on your arms and your body and your ribs, and this doesn't do that. So while you're building up the conditioning, while you're building up your training and getting better and better, a foam padded scrim stick is a really, really good idea. In stick fighting, they do wear a lot of padding, so they wear a helmet and body armor, but if you can't afford that, why not get a foam padded one? It's a much, much cheaper option than like full body armor, so this is a really good second option if you can't afford the armor. Now, outside of Filipino stick fighting, the Arnis, the Cali, or the rest of it, some other styles do use the foam padded sticks. So, some of the Kung Fu styles will use the two foot short stick for sparring. Now, this is a really good sparring option for that. Really good to pack around, really good travel option if you haven't got a lot of space. You can take these out, you can still practice sparring with some friends. Really good for, yeah, Kung Fu sparring why not give one of these a go? So let's have a look at the dimensions of the foam screamer stick. So we're looking at 66 centimeters or 26 inches, so just over two foot. So just looking at the weight, these weigh in about 110 grams, so pretty lightweight. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here is a short montage of people training with these screamer sticks. Thanks very much for watching. I hope it was useful. I hope you learned loads about the foam a screamer stick we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. If you like this video, click the little icon in the bottom right hand corner of the video, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos from Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers.